Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carolyn Ann and my channel is a lifestyle channel where you will follow us on our journey to becoming debt free as well as financially stable. In today's video, we will be closing out last week's budget and going over the next week's budget. If you are interested in this type of video, please stay tuned. But first, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Hey fam, welcome to the team and to all my old subscribers. Hey fam, welcome back. So let's get started and let's see how we did. So for our budget for June 23rd through July the 6th, in our income, we estimated our income to be $1,493.97 plus our supplement income of $250 and a rollover of $1,344.43. That came up to a total of $3,088.40. And in our actual category, that is exactly what we have. In our expenses, we budgeted $367.98 for our phone bill, $231.04 for our life insurance, and that's because they did not take it out last month, so they doubled it up this month, $99.99 for our homeowner's warranty, $139.54 for our med subscription, $6.53 for HP Inc., $5.40 for Patreon, $980 for mortgage, $172.04 for utilities, $48 for our gym fee, $12.99 for Canva Pro, and $12 for Google Suite. That came up to $2,075.51. In our actual category, our phone bill was $367.67. Life insurance was $231.04. Our homeowner's warranty was $99.99. .99. Our med subscription was $100. HP Inc. was $6.53. Patreon was $5.40. Our mortgage was $980. Utilities was $172.04. Gym fee was $48. Patreon was $13.12. And Google Suite was $12. That came up to a total of $2,035.79, which was a difference of $39.72. In our debt, we budgeted $100 for Best Buy and $107.89 for Chase. That came up to $207.89. And in our extra category, that is exactly what we spent. In our cash envelopes, we budgeted $150 for groceries, $160 for gas, $60 for personal, $60 for lunch, $60 for eating out, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to $530. In our extra category, we spent $175 in groceries, $60 in gas, $60 in personal, $60 in lunch, $51 in eating out, Nothing in miscellaneous and nothing in household. That came up to $506, which was a difference of $24. In our rollover, we budgeted $20. And in our actual, that is exactly what we put in. In our sinking funds, we budgeted $180. And in our actual, that's exactly what we put in. In our income versus our expenses, we estimated our income to be $3,088.40. Minus the expenses of $2,075.51, minus the cash envelopes of $530, minus the sinking funds of $180, minus the savings of $20, and minus the debt of $207.89 that left a remainder of zero. In our actual category, our income was $3,088.40, minus the expenses of $2,035.79, minus the cash envelopes of $506, minus the sinking funds of $180, minus the savings of $20, and minus the debt of $207.89. That left a balance of $138.72, and that will be put into our rollover. Now for our budget for July the 7th through the 20th. In our income for the two weeks, we are giving ourselves $1,387. In our expenses, we budgeted $138.63 for our chiropractor, $166.82 for our car insurance, $89 for Terminex, $82.79 for YouTube TV, $50.64 for our home alarm, $21.79 for Netflix, $16.19 for Audible, $16.15 for Amazon Prime, and $1.99 for our Google storage. That came up to a total of 
In our debt, we budgeted $60.54 for Target. And that was because my card had got compromised and I have a Target debit card. The girl told me if I go on and change my debit card on the Target app so that it would connect with my debit card, that that would work. Guys, that didn't work. I did swipe and it did accept it, but I did get a letter in the mail saying that I had a $30 insufficient fund because it went to the wrong card and that card had been closed down. So I had to send Target $60.54 to get that cleared up. I'm making a call so that I can connect my new debit card to the Target debit card and I won't have this issue anymore. And $41.88 for American Water Source. And what this is, is if my pipe happens to burst in the yard, then they'll come out and repair it. Because anything in the yard and up to the house is my responsibility and those pipes cost a lot. So if anything happens, they'll come out and repair it. So that came up to a total of $102.42. In our cash envelopes, I budgeted $200 for groceries, $160 for gas, $60 for lunch, $60 for personal, $10 for miscellaneous, and $10 for household. That came up to $500. In our savings, we budgeted $20 for rollover. And in our sinking funds, we budgeted $130. In our income versus our expenses, I estimate my income to be $1,387 minus the expenses of $584 minus the cash envelope of $500 minus the sinking funds of $130 minus the savings of $20, and minus the debt of $102.42. That leaves a balance of $50.58. So I did give myself a $50 cushion. So family, as you can tell, I did have a few things that came up that was unexpected, and I went ahead and got that taken care of, and I only gave myself enough to pay bills and a $50 cushion just in case I needed it. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing and joining the family. We'd love to have you. But that is all for this video, fam. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, fam.